Hi everyone, Bailey here with another tree ID for a common tree that grows here in Lincoln, Nebraska. And today we're going to be looking at the northern red oak, or Quercus rubra. This beautiful tree right here, it has a really wide distribution in North America, spanning all the way up into the northeast corner of the country, and then down partially into the southeast. It's a really common tree to plant in cities because it's really hardy, which means that it does well with heat and cold temperatures, and it also deals with pollution really well. This beautiful tree, the northern red oak, Quercus rubra, has got these striations or stripes on its bark. Um, it's kind of a darker grayish red color, and it's got these lighter gray stripes on it. If we take a look at some of its other key identifying features, um, as we know, all oak trees have some kind of acorn, and the types of caps on the acorn allow us to tell those trees apart. So in the case of northern red oak, it's got these flat, kind of flat-topped caps that look a little bit like a beret. So they're really flattened compared to other oak species. Another thing about northern red oak, it's in the red oak groups. There's two groups of oaks. There's the white oaks and the red oaks. And the way that we tell those apart is by different features on their leaves. So in the red oak group, we will see these little points on the edges of the leaves, which are called bristle tips. Uh, and the way that we can tell that a tree is in the red oak group is if it has pointed lobes, this structure is called a lobe, and bristle tips. So in the case of northern red oak, this species specifically is going to have anywhere from seven to nine lobes on the leaves, and they're all going to have those little bristle tips on the end. And you can see that the sinuses, or the part of the leaf that goes in, are pretty shallow on northern red oak leaves. And this will be somewhat variable depending on what part of the tree that these leaves are from. That's all about northern red oak. Take a look for these in your neighborhood the next time that you're on the walk.